Hi, welcome to Lesson 7, Simple Interest. Today we're going to start talking about time value money, how money changes over time. And the key here is time value money. I'm going to write that down because this is going to come up again and again and that's the shortcut on our calculator. This works via interest. Interest is money that you earn on investments. In that case, high rates are best. Or, interest is the money that we pay on loans. In that case, low rates are best. In which case, every problem we have, we're gonna to have to decide, am I borrowing money or am I investing money? And that's how we're gonna pick the basic, which one is better. So let's look at the two basic types of interest. And those are simple and compound. They're used for different things. Simple is what we're gonna to do today. And in our next lesson, we're gonna talk about compound interest, which is used more often. However, starting with simple, we're gonna to come to a basic equation and everything we do is going to stem from this. And that is going to be I equals PRT, where I is the interest earned, P is the principal, whatever we invest or borrow, and R is the interest rate. I'm going to put annual there because that's important. We're going to see this and T is time in years. To illustrate what I really mean by time value money, I'm going to give you a choice. Would you rather have $100 today? Or would you prefer to have $100 next year? Same amount of money, different time. Well, I don't know about you, but I would prefer to have money today. That's basically what we're doing. We're trying to figure out today versus next year, but let's change this now. What would you prefer? $100 today or $200 next year? This is a harder question. Me personally, I'm okay with waiting till next year, but you might need the money now. That's what's going to do. How much does something have to be worth in the future to make it equally valuable. So for the rest of the course, we're going to be dealing with this question. What's better, money now or money later? If we have less now and more later, when are those things going to be the same or equivalent to us?